National Housing Policy 2012 is a process of providing safe, comfortable, attractive, and functional affordable houses. Now, the process of providing safe, comfortable, attractive, functional, and affordable houses in a setting that is comfortable and environmentally friendly. The housing sector contributes to a large extent of the GDP of most developed countries. We have not achieved that in Nigeria. In Nigeria, the housing sector contributes to less than 5% of the GDP. But in advanced countries, you have housing sector contributing up to 30 to 70% of their GDP. So there's still a long way to go in housing in Nigeria. The, the issues of the problems of housing in the urban setting is different from housing in the rural setting. In the urban setting in Nigeria, the problem is that of quantity and accessibility. We don't have number, in, in, uh, adequate number of housing units and we have challenge to access to those houses that are even available. Now, in the rural settings, houses may be available, but the standard of infrastructure is not adequate and is not or sometimes absent. This is important to understand why the migration occurs. No. No. That policy was changed with a government being a facilitator. Government wants to play the, play the role of a facilitator, a enabler. No. This change is critical because if government is a facilitator and not a direct uh, player in the provision, the roles are different. No. The facilitating role in, in, I mean, entails government providing the neighboring environment for the private sector to come in and uh, provide houses. No, the, in the past, government has been actually involved in the delivery of houses through its agencies like the federal housing and at the state, state level through the housing corporations. <clears throat> now we may ask why is housing such a critical um, issue? We know that for every person we need a house or a place to lay our head. And it's when you have that you can even start thinking of what is to do. Housing is a critical need of every human being, and that is why it is such an important issue. Now, as I stated, the people live in townships, people live in rural settings. But why is the tennis of people moving from the rural settings to the township? There are many factors that are associated with the rural urban migration. And of course, to understand what the rural settings are, we all know these are areas that are sparsely populated, have uh, less infrastructure, and are basically uh, uh, dependent on agriculture as their means of uh, existence. While the townships have uh, industries, they have housing, they have uh, job opportunities, they have uh, all sorts of attraction infrastructure that attracts people. So basically people migrate from